So I was just out here tending to one of my food plots when it got me thinking. A question that I've heard asked a lot and I've seen asked on different forums quite often is how far do I need to sight in my hunting rifle? Now, this is a very complex question, as there's a lot of variables. So, what I like to do, or what I like to ask people directly anyway, since I typically don't get involved in very many forums, is I start by asking them, well, what type of rifle are you planning on using? Or, or, or are you using? And what type of ammo? mainly caliber because different guns generally speaking shoot differently like the one rifle that i use the most is my smith and wesson mp15 chambered in 556 although i use more 223 but it is what it is but Something faster, lighter, and oh, typically anything faster and lighter tends to have a flatter trajectory. Oh, trajectory rather. Whereas something slower and heavier tends to fall off a little sooner. Second question I like to ask people is what is your hunting spot like? By that I mean, is it, well, once I get my brightness right, is it all open like this little trail behind me? Or is it a bunch of like brush, low-lying veg oh, vegetation, like what this trail leads into. Look back behind me. Like, for example, if you've got a bunch of, like, little saplings, um, a bunch of, like, under, uh, generally speaking, undergrowth, like this little area right in here, I would, uh, I would personally recommend, especially if it travels back very far and doesn't open for long ways, I would personally recommend sighting any rifle at a closer distance. Like, say, for example, my 223. Since I hunt this area a little more, I've got it, I've only got it sighted in at 50 yards. Yeah, I know that may sound close, but at 50 yards, I know I'm going to hit just about anything out in here. So with it zeroed at 50 yards, also with knowing my point of impact and how to adjust at further distances, I've learned how to hit just about anything with that 50 yard side end. Now, my 308, if I remember right, I've got it sighted in for 100 yards. For a different location, a little bit, of, a little bit of distance around the bend, where I can shoot al almost all the way across the way. I can shoot a good 50, 70 yards, or oh, 50, 75 yards or so down the hill, and on my right, I've got about 50 yards. That are, oh, that's clear until it makes the bend. And to my left, well, the way, well, that is assuming I'm sitting like, like, sitting the way I usually sit and the spot that I usually sit in. To my left, I've got close to 100 yards that I can shoot across. So, I got it zeroed in at 100 yards. Mainly for that spot. Plus with my 223, I know how to adjust my shot oh, to, in order to adjust my point of aim 
Oh, adjust my point of aim to adjust my point of impact. Um, so, you kind of have to adjust your point of aim to suit where you're hunting. Or say if, like, say if I was shooting down this little trail here. It's, well, the trail itself, well, from the top of the hill, extends a total distance of, oh, 125, 150 yards down the hill till you get into a bunch of thicket. So, if you're shooting a bunch of, like, long, open distances, go ahead and extend your point of aim out. Uh, extend your zeroing out a little bit. Again, depending on the cartridge and your particular setup. When I say this, I'm speaking generally. I would recommend zeroing your rifle between 1 and 200 yards. That's a pretty good sweet spot. Once I can get my brightness focused right here. But 1 to 200 yards is not really a bad zero for longer distances. If you're shooting across, like, say, an open pasture, if you're using the proper cartridge, go ahead and push it out to, like, 300 yards or so. Whatever you're... Oh, what... Oh, but, when I say that, again... Keep in mind what cartridge you're using. Because like I say, slower, heavier loads tend to fall off a lot quicker. Like say, if you're using a great big old 30-30 flat nose, if you're shooting across wide open country, I would personally sight it in like 150, 175, but not really much further than that. Or if I'm using, say, um, stupid flies. If I'm using, say, 223, um, 7 mil. Well, 223, I'd, well, I would personally side in 100 to 150. That's me personally. I might go 200, but it's a personal thing. Or, say, like, 7 mil. 270, something along those lines where you've actually got a pretty well tapered bullet, a more aerodynamic bullet, something with quite a bit of speed. I personally wouldn't care to stretch it out to 300 yards. Get out of here. But that's me personally. Everybody's different too. But the two big factors to sighting in any rifle, it, well, three really, your setup, because shorter barrels, uh, oh, typically the longer the barrel is, the better accuracy you get. A 20, 22 inch barrel typically provides better accuracy than a 16 inch barrel, but you've also got to keep in mind the style of rifling and the grain weight and the speed of your bullet then the second thing is your cartridge because faster uh, generally speaking a faster moving bullet will typically fly straighter and especially a faster lighter bullet a fast light bullet typically flies straighter for longer than a heavy slow bullet. And your third thing is what type of terrain you're hunting on. Is it brushy? Like this behind me right now? Is it wide open? Like say down this trail here where you've got nothing blocking your line of sight for yards? Or Again, like this whole hillside here, what's your slope like? 
is everything like down a massive hillside or is it pretty flat that's all stuff that you've got to keep in mind now shotgun I don't really feel it matters much typically I try to keep all of my shotgun shooting and under 30 40 yards typically I'll stretch it out to 50 yards if I have to but again shotgun I'll use 12 gauge since it's most common you've got that great big old one ounce foster slug that's what everybody I know uses anyway you've got that great big like a pretty good sized one ounce foster slug that like freaking oh that's like slinging a boat anchor down your way it's gonna fall off pretty quick yes it'll still fly for yards on end but you're gonna uh, you gotta think about something too you're gonna lose speed the further down range you get but you just have to keep those oh primarily two things in in mind your terrain a big factor and what type of cartridge you use <clears throat> sorry what type of cartridge you use and a third slightly less important thing is your rifle setup I hope this video helps if there's something that I didn't elaborate on much it, or I didn't say clearly enough for you let me know down in the comments if you want to know more about this kind of stuff make sure to like subscribe and preferably comment so we're, uh, and like I always say whether in the description or actually in the video let me know anything you guys would like to see I'm open to suggestions I'm crazy enough to do just about anything once <laughs> and like I say if there's something that you want more information on that I'm able to provide I'll do my best to get a video out I know I didn't get around to making another video about my truck leak on my oil blah, 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 my oil leak on my truck but I've got a video in mind for that I just need to scrounge up a couple extra bucks because I had to spend more money than I would have liked to oh more money than I would have liked to have on other stuff but I digress but if there's something that y'all wanted to see me do go ahead like subscribe and preferably comment and I'll let you know if I'm able to do it and like I say I'm crazy enough to try almost anything once <laughs> So, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you'd like to see, and I'll do my best to get a video out for you. So, I guess that just about wraps it up. Catch you guys around.